Is Arcane the greatest show of all time or just the greatest animated series of all time? I'm not sure. All I know is I love Arcane. I do. I love this show. So yeah, today I want to talk about the Arcane Season 1 Steelbook in 4K. Yeah, let's do it. Up here I got, uh, you know, a link to my review if you want to know what I think of Arcane um, and, and everything about it. I mean, I pretty much... I pretty much just said what I think about it, but I, I, I do. I love this show and uh, a show like this. It's it's a creation. It's it's uh, it deserves to be studied. It deserves to be watched frame by frame. I mean, to look at the the edits, the way that they they frame the action, the artistry, the absolute just artistry evident in every single frame. I mean, the story is awesome too, of course. But this is this is the way that you can do that. I mean, sure, you can watch it on Netflix. It's still available. It's not like it's gone, but it's it man, it's on another level on this 4K. Now I'm going to show you this. This is the J card uh, that comes on the back. And of course, it shows you all the bonus features that are available on there. And uh, and of course, there's a, uh, a disc guide. So if you want to scan that QR code, it'll take you to a guide of What's on the, the 4K release? What's on the Blu-ray re release? What's on the big, bad, crazy special edition thing that I didn't get? But uh, but yeah, uh, hashtag not sponsored, but it'd be cool if I was because I buy a lot of 4K Blu-rays and it'd be cool to be able to show them off and stuff. Let me just say that a show like this, it's a, it's a creation. It's, it's, it's birthed into existence. I mean, it deserves to be studied, to be watched frame by frame, to, you know really take a glance at how it's edited, how it's all put together, the way that they frame the action, the absolute sheer artistry involved. It, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And watching it on a 4K disc is definitely the way to do it because you can watch it frame by frame. You can, which I'm, I'm guessing if you did that, it would take at least seven hours or so. This is a six hour show. Probably, might, might take a little longer. I mean, I'm, I'm no, I'm no mathematician, but look, uh, you can do that with this 4k disc and every single frame is worthy of printing it out and putting it on the wall. I mean, that's, that's something I really wish that I could see this in a theater. And I, I know it's a six hour show, but I really, it deserves the, the grandeur. I mean, it's, it's just, it's so well put together. I mean, look, I, I, I should quit gushing about the show. I love the show. Okay. So there you go. Now, in order to review this, my goal was to just watch like the first 15, 20 minutes of the first episode, just to get an idea. Because the thing is, is I only have the 1080p subscription to Netflix. I don't have the 4k one. So I don't know how much better the 4k disc would look than the 4k streaming. All I know is it's gorgeous. And I got completely sucked in. I watched the entire first disc and I'm like, I got other things to do. I can't watch this whole series right now. Of course, you can see uh, the the shiny. It's kind of like the eye and the the writings kind of have this the sheen to them. It's very cool. It's very beautiful uh, steel book there. And of course, the discs. There's I mean, really, the only thing you get these discs are hard to get out. I'm just going to say it. But, I mean, they have a little bit of artwork in there, but it's nothing where I'm like, oh, man, I kind of wish I could look at it. I'll just put the disc in, you know? I'll just put the disc in and watch it. But, of course, the 4K comes with one, two, three for each of the arcs, and then a bonus Blu-ray with all of the extra content. The big special feature on there is the Arcane colon bringing the rift. And that's 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 the main, the main meat of the special features on this release. I'd never seen this before, but apparently this was on Netflix and I think it's on their YouTube channel as well. The I'm talking like the Riot Games or I'm guessing there's a League of Legends channel. Here's the thing, I don't know, I don't know Jack about League of Legends. So watching this was really interesting because I got to learn a lot of the history behind, you know, what the decision to make this show, how hard it was, all of that. It was really, really fun to watch this. Getting to see the collaboration between Riot Games, the creator of League of Legends, and Fortiche, the, the animation studio in France, and the way that they worked together and the way that they both brought so many different things to the show, it was really, really fun to watch that progression and almost 
like a, a feeling of nervousness and anxiety because it was like, how are they going to pull this off? Of course, we know they pulled it off, but man, there was a long time where they didn't know if they were going to be able to do it. I watched the entire thing. I couldn't, I couldn't get enough. I loved watching this process. And of course, because I'm, 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 I'm a fan of storytelling and I'm a fan of, of creation and watching these, I mean, seriously, absolute artists, the way that they bring it all together and, and the way that everybody worked together, the mix between the 2d and the 3d animation, the, the painstaking process of crafting the story and how many different iterations that it took and how they kept moving things around and, and trying to figure out the best way to tell the story. It was an amazing journey to witness that actually by the end of it, it brought me to tears. Like I was like, I felt that level of, of pride that they had and it was, and it came through. And, and I think that's really impressive. What I really enjoyed about it too, is seeing all the hints about how they, they sort of learned the process and then perfected that process to where season two is coming out in a few short months. And that's only been three years since the release of season one. So, I mean, it took six years to do season one, took three years to do season two. I think that's cool. Now, as I said, I don't, I'm not familiar with the game League of Legends. I just love the show. So uh, the other thing that they have on here is scene breakdowns. And in a lot of cases, there's, you know, they show off some, some of the, I guess, Easter eggs, you know, from the game and stuff like that. I, I don't, those don't work on me, but it was still really, really fun to watch them break down these scenes. And there's like, there's what, uh, one, two, three, four of them. And that's pretty cool. And then there's a making Mel featurette because apparently the character of Mel is a brand new character for Arcane. So she's not in the game. Maybe she is now. I don't know. I, I don't, what, what, I don't know anything about League of Legends. All I know is, is I'm a fan of, of the, the series. I'm a fan of the company. I, I, I'm a fan of the creators. I think they're really, really awesome. This is a great way to, uh, to experience that because you get to see it with, I mean, perfect quality. Like, what can I say? It's perfect quality. I kind of wish that it was an Atmos track instead of a 5.1 track for, for the series itself, but that is a minor, minor nitpick. It's very, very good. It sounds great. It looks great. I mean, I don't have anything to complain about. So Arcane season one on 4K on physical media, right? Are you going to pick this up? Is this something that you're interested in? Or are you kind of like, hey, it's on Netflix. I'll just, I'll just watch it there. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about the show. Anything you want to talk about, you know, when it comes to Arcane, let's do it in the comment section because that's what the comment section is for. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.